I'm recreating a horror scene every single day of October. I've always wanted to try to shoot day for night, so today we're taking a look at Nope. The filming wasn't crazy. I didn't even use any lights or anything. I just used the natural sunlight. Sounds great. What? The effect really like comes together in editing when you color grade it. So you're basically making everything blue. But here's what it looks like. Yeah, no, that sounds great. What? Oh, service. How I made this shot? I'm recreating a horror scene every single day of October. Today we're recreating a scene for Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story. The camera is really low to the ground, so I got my tripod as low as it could possibly go. I put my camera on and tilted it up pretty much the most it can go. The only thing you can really see is the lights. They're like garage work lights. I have some of those in my garage. So we're filming this in my garage. I had to take off the covers so we could actually see the tubes. But it really just came down to me finding the right spot for the camera. I did notice that I was not getting the lighting the way that I wanted. So I had to add a negative fill on the side of my face to cut out some of that light. Then I had to add some more light on the other side of my face because the whole shot was too bright and I had to make the background darker so I had to add in more light. And finally the fog. I, I had to add some haze inside of this room. But that's... Yeah, I saw that and I was so confused on how they did it that I actually had to figure it out. So how am I gonna do this? I didn't want my background to be like boring, so I added a little bit of texture. I think it's called a cookie cutter. I cut, I cut out a whole bunch of strips from this foam board. When I shine a light through it, it kind of looks like bars or something. There's a whole lot of red in that footage, so I had to add that in, obviously. I feel like it goes without saying, but don't use a real knife. Don't, don't do this. As far as lighting on my face is concerned, I use this light. And that light bounced off of this reflector onto my face. It added a little twinkle in my eye. Oh, and speaking of my eyes, I had to put on makeup. Never worn eyeshadow before, but I guess now I have. So now that we have our footage, you isolate the knife so that you can get rid of the knife and then put your eyes underneath of that. And it should look a little like this. I'm remaking a scene from a horror movie every single day of October. Today it's gonna be this scene from Last Night in Soho. Pretty easy one, but I also ran out of time today. So I set up this backdrop, but we're gonna do everything with two of these Amaran T2C light bars. So I put one of these on each side of me. These are cool because you can control them with an app. You can program some effects like pulsing red, which is exactly what we need. And wow, that's it. This is what it looks like. Smile just came out a couple days ago. I'm going to recreate the like head spinning effect inside of the car. I need to duplicate myself, which means that I need to set up a green screen. Lighting seemed a little complicated. I had to make sure the green screen was nice and even. Then we take everything out of the car. All of the green screen stuff goes away. We relight it and then now I can film the stuff outside of the car, me walking up to it. And now we're in my office where I have an even bigger green screen. So I had to film like my neck and my face separate. So we're gonna use that, but I have to be upside down. I don't have anything to be upside down on. So I guess this table and a couple sandbags is gonna have to do, but hopefully I don't fall. All of the fun stuff is done, now we just have editing. So I'm gonna have to extend my neck, add a creepy smile, get rid of the green, add me walking underneath of that, add my creepy neck smile on top of that, rotate it a little bit, and we have this. I'm just really scared that something bad is gonna happen. <laughs> Well, that looks terrible, and I hate when things look terrible, so we're gonna have to fix that in the next video. Does anyone remember Lights Out? It had to come out at least five years ago, but it was the horror movie where you turn off the lights and then there's the, the, the demon, the ghost, the whatever it was. Well, I'm remaking a horror scene every single day of October, and today, that's what we're doing. This is actually a super simple effect. You just have to put your camera on a tripod, then you film the scenes of you turning on and off the light, and then without touching the camera, go film the ghost scene. And then you take the ghost clip and put it over the clip of the light switch and this is what that looks like. Welcome to 31 Days of Horror. T today we're cutting off my hand. You don't want your hand anywhere near the knife, so you're gonna film these separate. One with your hand there, move your hand, and then one with the knife. It's better to use a prop knife. You're gonna have to separate things out. My main layer is the knife layer. Above that, I masked out my arm, and then we have the knife itself, and then my hand. And yeah, cutting off your hand. 
I've been editing this video for six hours. It is almost three in the morning and I wanna go to sleep. So this is what I did. I was trying to remake this scene from Smiley. How hard could it be to light my room on fire? You just download a whole bunch of fire and then you just put on your footage. I've never done it, but that, that's what I thought. I did all the things you're supposed to do. I even put these light bars in the fire setting to make it look like the fire was actually there. I put some little lights on my back to make it look like I was on fire. I tried my best acting like I was on fire. There's just something about it that doesn't look right. I can't put my tongue on it? <laughs> what? That's not the same. What is the same? I don't know. Here's what this monstrosity looks like. Has anyone watched The Midnight Club? Well, I wanna recreate this scene. Also, this is probably the worst place I've ever put my camera. See? So she's really just sitting there. Okay, she's in a wheelchair, so that's different, but I'm gonna find a place to sit. After I find a place to sit, I'm gonna find a place to put the camera. After I find a place to put the camera, I'm gonna find a place to put some lights. I'm just filming into this corner over here. The shot isn't rocket science. I tried actually making that shadow, but it didn't, it didn't work out. So I'm gonna use a green screen because I want to. It just seems easier to cut myself out. The only thing I really had to do was like make my fingers look creepy. That was a whole process, but this is what it looks like. Halloween Ends just came out tonight, so I'm gonna recreate this fire scene from Halloween Kills. I didn't like the way the fire looked last time, so I need to try this again. I did learn a lot though from last time, so this should look so much better. Michael Myers is walking outside of this burning building at night in the rain, so I'm gonna wait until nighttime to go in front of my house. It's not raining though, but maybe I'll add some. I didn't like the way the fire setting looked on these. It kind of looks more like a campfire, not a your house is burning down fire. So I just set them to a straight orange instead. Two of these lights and cameras all that I use, the rest of it's in edit. Remove the background, add in some fire and some glow, maybe some smoke and some burn marks, fire embers, lens flares, and of course, distortion. And once again, my house is burning down. I finally bought some stuff for an episode. We got a mask, we got a phone. Today we're recreating these scenes from Black Phone. It's all about the lighting today, but I do plan on doing this and this. I just have to figure out a way to hang from my ceiling first. Obviously I had to hang up the phone. These are like such bad quality. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I mean, what can you expect for 20 bucks, but come on. Mouth's all messed up and weird. It's gonna have to do, I guess. I've used this in so many videos now, and when you shine light through this, it looks like light coming from a window. And that's exactly what we need. It made too many of the little bars, so I had to flag them off so you only see three of them. The door scene is pretty simple. I just have this lamp right here. I don't know why it's blue right now. And I used one of my lights above me. For the last scene, I used two of these lights just facing each other. That gives the center of the face shadow and the sides are all lit up. And here's what it looks like. You guys have been asking me to recreate a scene from Stranger Things and I was finally able to do it. Today we're recreating the scene where Max starts floating in the air. This park had lots of amenities like green screens, diffusers, sea stands, ladders. Ladders are important, but very unnecessary. I did not need to use that ladder. I could have done that shot like right here. Filming in the daytime is weird. I can't use any lights. I just have to use like the sunlight. Oh right, we're supposed to be floating, hello. Get a nice looking shot, put in a green screen, do some acting like you're floating, get rid of the green screen, move yourself up a little bit, and just like that, we're floating. <gasps> you know what, I think you're onto something. I could definitely just use a stool. Today we're recreating this scene from Black Phone. One stool. The plan is pretty simple. Play backwards. We have two problems. One, my stool sucks. Listen to this. I'm gonna fall, and I almost did a couple times. <laughs> problem two, since we're not actually hanging, the stool's gonna be in the way of one of my feet. But we'll get to that problem in a second. First, we have to light this. I hardly ever use this light anymore, but it's a spotlight and it's perfect for what we need. Spotlights are able to actually focus the light. And that's all the lighting we need. You remember how I said we had some problems? So how do we fix problem two? Film our legs in one take and film my body in another take. In editing, I just cut out my body, cut out my legs, put them together, and this is what we have. Yeah, okay, you guys made me buy a mask. 
I had to get the jumpsuit too. And now we're ready to try this again. I think I got the wrong side. If we're using costumes, we might as well try to get the water too, but I'm not taking any chances with this camera, so I'm gonna use an umbrella, but I have to attach it to the camera. I really feel like a mechanic wearing this. There's a place to screw something in right here. Now I have this little arm with a clamp and this should be perfect for an umbrella. Just like that. No more wet camera. We got the camera set up behind me. All that's left is to hook up the hose. And this is what that looks like. Today, I'm gonna hang from my ceiling. We are recreating the sunken place from Get Out. How are you gonna do that? Well, I bought these trapeze anchors, some green straps made for your car, and a rock climbing harness. That sounds like I should be able to hang, right? So I have to actually mount those anchors onto the ceiling and find a stud, which I was having a lot of trouble with. Whether I go to the hospital or not is dependent on four of these. You see these? Those are supposed to be on my ceiling, but they're not because they fell when I was up on the ladder. I dropped so many things. Hopefully my body's not one of them. We got the anchors, let's mount the straps and see if this will actually hold me. And it does, surprisingly. The only thing left is to put on this harness and see if it works. Hopefully I don't fall, but let's try to hang from the ceiling. Let's go, three, two. Whoa! Oh shit. <laughs> it worked. Today was filled with a lot of mistakes, but an attempt was made. I'm trying to remake this scene from Get Out. So last night I put on a rock climbing harness and attached anchors into my ceiling. I connected car straps to those anchors, then connected that to my harness. And with all of that, I was able to get my feet off the ground and float. But then there's the rest of it. I don't know if you noticed, but I now have a green screen on my ceiling. The straps are also green, so theoretically everything can get keyed out. But of course, it can't be that simple. It's like a 10 foot green screen and it wasn't enough. Because of this, both of my hands get cut off and my feet and my shoulders sometimes. So now I have to go frame by frame and mask out my hand, my other hand, my left foot, my right foot. Did I mention that was frame by frame? My head also gets cut off at some point because the camera just was not in the right position. This took a lot longer to edit so I have a lot less to show for and maybe I was able to salvage the footage. Today I'm getting rid of my eyes and my mouth because I'm recreating this scene from Wednesday. Filming this is not the hard part. Put a camera down, set up a couple lights, make sure you look good. The hard part's in editing. A whole bunch of time consuming, boring things like using a planar tracker on my face. Honestly, I couldn't figure out how to do this, so it took a lot longer than it probably needed to do. I took a screenshot and then I actually had to like get rid of my eyes and my mouth. And then I put those on my face and the tracker is what makes it stick. And this is what that looks like. Today we're gonna be recreating the can crushing scene from Stranger Things. I just realized I have to make a head thing. My head is this big. <laughs> I have this. <laughs> Let's try it on. This one is so long. Would you test my brain with this thing on? I don't know. I had to go buy a hospital gown costume. Surprisingly harder to find than you would think. I guess the only thing left to do is change. That's better, I guess. But I can't, I can't get rid of the butt. Obviously we have to film, so I have to act like I'm crushing a can. Do not put in mouth, eyes, ears, or nose. No! <laughs> I need to read the thing, it says, it says do not put in nose. And then in a separate shot, I glued the can to my table, make this little stop motion sequence and then put that back over the footage. And here's what it looks like. Today, I'm breaking down this door with an ax. We're recreating this scene from The Shining. Okay, so obviously I'm not breaking down this door. I have to go buy a door. So I went over to Home Depot and I had to buy an ax too. Now that I have my brand new shiny door, I have to take off this door, put that door in its place so I can break it down. The door was $60, so I have one chance to get this right. So I need to record as much as possible. So I set up three cameras to record at the same time. And this is what it looks like. Oh, don't do this, by the way. Here's 
Johnny. I finally get to return this because this is the last black home video that I'm making. This mirror has nothing to do with it. I just found it. I'm remaking this scene from the black phone. The light by itself was lighting up too much stuff. So I added a grid to focus the light. And honestly, just these two lights are all that we need. We do need the lights off though. With our lighting set up, I just need to take this phone and act scared. And then I need to scream, but not really because it's late at night. And this is the fun part. I have to be pulled back. So after I'm done, screaming, I have to jump. I don't jump that high. I don't have anything on the floor, so I'm not gonna be that committed, but I need a better shot of my legs. So it's gonna get a little sketchy. I can't move the camera because that'll mess up the perspective and I need to get higher. So I took a chair and put a stool on top of that and I did my little like falling pose, <laughs> but it worked and I didn't fall. Now all I have to do is overlap that footage and when I scream, I make it smaller as I fall back. And this is what it looks like. <laughs> Do you remember The Ring? That movie used to terrify me as a child, but today I'm recreating the, you know, the TV scene. I have this old TV in my garage that'll be perfect for this. I noticed that this has a VHS player right here. I have some old VHS movies over on my shelf. I wonder if... So the TV works and the VHS's work and I spent way too long sitting there watching cartoons. Right, we're recreating something. My main light right here, I put that up top as like an overhead. I'm really trying to create like a spooky vibe. And then I have two of these stick lights and one of them I made green. Green is a spooky color. I didn't plan this, but the purple from my neon signs kept hitting my face and green and purple are like opposites and that's, that's a good thing. So I started filming all of my scenes. But you don't care about that. You're here for me to walk out of a TV and I did that with the green screen. It had to be a paper one because I cut out a square the size of the screen and I lined up everything the best that I could. It was nighttime. I just, I filmed it in my garage. I didn't even buy a costume or a wig. I just put on a sweater. I don't know. It's either gonna look good or it's gonna look very bad. I can't see anything. <laughs> How am I supposed to climb through a TV? It's like, my, I can't, maybe that's not gonna work. This was way harder than I expected it to be. I thought it was gonna be a walk in the park, but no. That wasn't supposed to happen. After hours of tedious editing, this is what it looks like. Look, Weezy. Today's one of my most requested videos. I'm recreating this scene from it. I got my green screen all set up with the lights and I put this table right here that I'm gonna like crouch down on. I have to actually put on the raincoat that I got and then I just started filming. So I set up this backdrop and then I have this light right here. It's just in front of this stool so that when I lean forward, I get a little bit of light on. Oh, is it worth it? I don't know. It's not gonna look right. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna shave. Okay. So I shaved my entire face. I went out and bought a costume because why not at this point? Yeah, this isn't gonna work for me. So I bought a thing of makeup and I had my girlfriend, well, do my makeup. So now I look like this, I just have to change. This costume is too small, but we're ready to film. The only thing left is this little boat. And this is what it looks like. Georgie. What a nice boat. Do you want it back? Um, yes, please. You look like a nice boy. I bet you have a lot of friends. Three. Um, my brother's my best ass. I bet I could cheer him up. I'll give him a balloon. Do you want a balloon too, Georgie? I'm not supposed to take stuff from strangers. Oh, well, I'm Pennywise the dancing clown. Pennywise? Yes. Meet Georgie. Georgie, meet Pennywise. <laughs> now we aren't strangers. 